Hi, this is Todd Whitman with Not 10 Yacht Sales. Today we're going to take a look at a 2004 Cruiser Yachts 3372 Express. Let's hop on board. Walking alongside. Notice this boat's got a full canvas enclosure. There is an aft deck enclosure as well. Happen to have it off on the boat right now to make it easier to do a video. Got a large full beam swim platform. So it's super easy to hop on board. Fender storage on the transom. You also have this transom locker for shore power cords, lines, fenders. Opposing seating in the cockpit where those two um, deck fittings are. You have uh, poles that can go in there with a large table. You can also have that table drop down and a filler cushion to make this whole area a full sun lounge. Port side, you have a cockpit refrigerator as well as a wet bar. Storage is underneath. Up at your helm, full instrumentation. This is powered with twin 6.2 Merc Cruiser, uh, freshwater cooled inboards. Uh, owner reports about 300 hours. We're going to verify that a little bit walk through a windshield so it's super easy to get up to the bow of the boat we'll go there in a bit one of the nice things on this boat is on the port side you have this large lounge seat so um, folks could be sitting in the lounge or have two folks a captain and a co-pilot on the behind the helm Nice thing they've done with these 6.2 Mercs is they've tied them into the GPS, which is a Garmin GPS, Char Potter, Radar, all-in-one unit. So you get all your engine data in there. We have 273 hours are all in one motor. The other rate motor reads like 268. So it's a nice little setup where you can have all your data and engine management stuff up on your GPS, which is a nicer screen than the um, typical gauges that are on the dash. Go through the companionway door on the 3372 Cruiser. It's three steps down. Immediately to your port side, you have an offset galley, which has uh, a large refrigerator, freezer, double burner stove, sink, coffee pot, built-in microwave, nice storage ab above the stove in the uh, main galley, large storage underneath. Directly opposite of the galley, you have this crescent-shaped dinette. So, um, you know, you can have four people easily sit here. This table drops down and becomes another sleeper. There's a cushion for that. Of course, you have stereo with dual speakers. Scan it forward. You have a TV, which is on a swivel, and a nice large forward bed. Two normal-sized adults could easily uh, sleep here. You've got steps to get up on the bed on each side and a nice hanging locker on that port side. Looking directly aft, you have a aft settee with the table. The This whole area, the footwells fill in with two filler cushions, which are right here, um, making that another berth for two people. There's an additional hanging locker, drawer storage. Up against this back bulkhead on, I mean, yeah, back, uh, starboard side you have your main distribution panel this boat has air conditioning generator um, fully equipped no signs of leaks or any types of issues here on the port side just forward of the galley you have the uh, enclosed head which uh, I like this cherry door and frame it's solid wood it really kind of sets the boat off you have Vacuum flush head, of course your sink, storage uh, in the behind those mirrors. Just forward of that, you have this shower stall area. It's not a true separate shower stall. You still have to remove this and put it in that bracket to um, take a shower, but it's not a traditional wet head either. I really think it's a great design and one you don't see typically in a boat of this size. One of the great features of a cruiser's Almost all their express boats have super access to the bow. You just have one 
two steps. You have a nice handrail, center walk through windshield. Once you're up here, everything's kind of flat and even. All your anchor tackle is is concealed, so you're not tripping over that. Nice big cleats on port and starboard. Of course, your spotlight. Midship cleats are forward of the windshield, so it's easy to deal with a spring line going from a like a forward piling down to this cleat. You're not having to duck back here to get it. Again, they did a lot of things right on this boat. We're looking at the uh, cockpit space of the Cruiser's 3372. If you look around the perimeter, you'll see the seam. This whole deck can easily come up with a screw gun. And a couple people can easily remove this whole deck for major mechanical. Most of your day-to-day -day type service, you're going to just simply set, open up this centerpiece where you have access to your engine room. These are, again, twins, uh, 6.2 Merc Cruiser MPI Horizons, 320 horsepower piece, roughly 270 some odd hours, which we talked about earlier in the video. Freshwater cooled inboards, so uh, you're not dealing with any of those outdrive um, maintenance headaches. Um, we'll pan around a little bit. Straight aft is your generator. Kohler 5KW with a uh, little over 30 hours. Panning around to the port side. Looking aft, you have your engine room fire suppression, battery switches. Now we're looking at the port motor. Kind of scanning back. Rogers and manifolds are current and up to date. Basically, this boat um, should be, for 2004, a turnkey proposition. This is Todd with Not 10 Yacht Sales again. I want to thank you very much for watching this video in the 2004 Cruiser Yachts 3372 that I have listed for sale. You'll see the current asking price as well as all my contact information in the description of this video. Feel free to give me a call. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about this boat or any of my other listings. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.